Hey, it's the Empire. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon for more videos. Be taking over. Let's go, champ. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button right now. Let's go. Hey, it's the Empire. Geo Boxing Empire. Box on Boxing. Crazy news, man. Apparently, now, Anthony Joshua is going to fight uh, Carlos Takam in his upcoming fight, right? In like 10 days, right? Now, apparently, Anthony Joshua thinks this fight is going to go 10 to 12 rounds. Wow. The killer with all knockouts think it's going to go rounds he's never seen before in boxing, which is, you know, uh, past 10, 11, and 12. That's a shocker, man. Now, now I would have thought he would end, you know, uh, Carlos Takam pretty early, you know, because Carlos Takam, he's a pressure fighter. So having a pressure fighter come to you for 10, 11, 10, 12 rounds is, is, a, is like, is dangerous, you know. You're not going to, you don't want to have this guy around after, after all that happens, you know. So I'm really shocked that Anthony Joshua thinks it can go that far. The fact that he says something like that, it makes me think he's doubting himself. You know, I think Anthony Joshua could be doubting himself in this fight, or he could be just—he could just be selling the fight. I'm not gonna lie, he could just be selling the fight. You know, I mean, we replaced the opponent last minute. You could be trying to sell the fight, but let's just say he's doubting himself because it seems like to me he's doubting himself, man. You know, AJ is very—he's very uncertain lately. You know, one time he's super confident, next time he's depressed. You know, talk about getting knocked out and how he will take an L in his career. He's very, you know, off the wall these days. He's not really consistent in what he's saying. So I'll link it in the description, right? Here's a quote from uh, Anthony Joshua. He's strong. He's from Africa. And he's game. He has one world title shot. And some people don't make the same mistake twice. This is a chance to shock the world. Look at I mean, I mean, that sounds like a loser talk to me. You know, you're basically saying, yeah, he has a, he has a chance to beat me. He, he has a chance to beat me. You know, come on, man. Okay, another quote. Talk him is already as tough as they come. He walks forward, and that's disheartening for a fighter to see. I want to see what fire he will walk through to get the, this belt. Wow. Wow. You know? He said it's disheartening for a fighter to see. You know? <sighs> What's disheartening about a guy trying to knock you out? I mean, <laughs> I mean, this is boxing, baby. It comes with the game, baby. So... So I mean, I mean, and AJ challenged him right there and say, okay, you walk forward, you throw, you throw, you throw hands. Let's see if you can walk and throw these hands when I when I swing back at you. You know, Anthony Joshua, like in his article, he's 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 saying one thing and he's saying another. I mean, he's not even consistent in his article he's talking about. You know, one one minute he's talking about getting shocked by the world and this guy has a chance to beat me. Next time. You know, you're talking. You say, "Oh yeah," but you know, he swings on me. He got. He might have to pay. You know, like Anthony Joshua. You know, he's very inconsistent. And uh, you know, me personally, I think this is the Klitschko curse, man. Once you beat Vladimir Klitschko and you get to the top, you start getting depressed. Look at Tyson Fury. You know, look at Tyson Fury. As soon as he got to the top, he started getting all depressed because there's no more goals. Now you're just at the top. Now you now you're just maintaining everything. You made your millions. Now you just gotta maintain your millions. The Tyson, it, it, it's the Klitschko curse, baby. It's the Klitschko curse. It's new. I came up with the first, quote me. It's the Klitschko curse. I think Anthony Joshua's depressed, man. He's at the top. He's doubting himself. He don't know what to do now. He don't know where, where to take it, you know. Anthony Joshua's, he's scared, man. Like, okay, now I'm, I'm going to read this last quote, man. He actually talks about it going later rounds, right? People are asking me what round, and I say 10 to 12, because this guy's head is like a block of cement. So he's basically saying this guy has a chin. He's knocking his lay flat, you know what I mean? And that's saying a lot, because Klitschko went fucking round 10. This guy, he's, he's saying Taka might go past that. And it, let's, let's be honest, if he's saying 10 to 12, if he thinks it go that far, it, it may just go to decision. It may just go to decision. So, you know, I, I don't want to hear that from Anthony Joshua. You know, say you don't knock this guy out, man. Don't say it's going to go to 10 to 12. That's not exciting. I want to hear a knockout. I want you to keep that 100% knockout ratio. It sounds good. It looks good on paper. Keep it, man. Keep it. Let me know how you guys feel about that, man. You think this is weakness from Anthony Joshua or you think he's trying to sell a fight? Because me, man, personally, if you read this article, Anthony Joshua is everywhere, man. He's talking about 
getting shocked by the world. He's talking about this guy is really tough. He, he has a chin. He might be able to take my punches. And then, like, you know, and then, and then he's talking about beating a guy, maybe, because he can come forward and throw punches, but he's going to have to pay. You know, like, it, it's just, like, it's inconsistent. All in one article, and it's shocking. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geo Boxing Empire.